Welcome to our Gemini and to your beginning of the month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, this reading will be for the 7th through the 15th. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Best message for the beginning of the month, please. swords coming out everything's gonna be okay <laughs> um everything's going to be okay talking about the ten of swords upside down definitely we're talking about anything that has to do with finance we're definitely talking about the uphill for the work right feeling like you're just on this uphill going up this graded path and it's just like oh my gosh but it's telling you that the hard part is over now um, there's a few accepting, um, defeating factors to the situation about the finances that you know of, right? Um, but it's also telling you that it's time to have the fruits of your labor, uh, right? It's time. It's time to start harvesting. So any uphill battles that you know that you've been going through, you can feel self-assured that these things are now um, making their way down the hill, I guess you could say. So getting straight in here to the situation. We have the Nine of Cups coming out, talking about, well, you know what? I didn't get my Nine of Cups. I worked really hard for the Nine of Cups last month, and I really hope I get them this month. Holding tight to what it is that you work so hard with, um, having the Justice card come out. If you guys had any kind of court case or anything like that, it does show that you probably did lose that case, um, and you do know that, and it was probably at a very ex high expense. Um, that you're just not very happy about. Um, I really wanted to win this court case, but it just wasn't in my favor. Um, so it does feel that way. Um, but definitely knowing that you did have some kind of stuck energy, and it is coming out showing whatever it was that was stuck on, everything is going to be okay now, and really holding tight to any saved money that you have. And that would be a good thing to do at the beginning of the month, is making sure that you are rapidly... Um, holding on to that so that you could allow those um, monetary gains to, you know, start building, guys, right? Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, it looks a lot better. It's coming to a conclusion, coming to an end. It definitely is, though, and we can feel like that stuck energy is definitely coming to an end. Um, in the very beginning of the month, having more perception about the situation. Might even feel like you have to take a little bit of a self-sacrifice, and that could be not spending as much money as you maybe wanted to do. Um, but it does feel like, you know, there could be some kind of earned money that you might be secretly kind of hiding out, um, maybe even from yourself, a loved one, something of that nature, or maybe it's just that savings um, where it's saying I'm kind of making pillow money, right? So... Um, and trying not to think about it. Um, i definitely seeing that. So let's get in here and see what's going on. Having the blessings coming through is going to really make you feel balanced as this is coming to a, concluded, a conclusion over here where you felt like it was never going to end. It is definitely ending. Oh, yeah, because we have the page of swords over here that says, yeah, I have the understanding that things are not going my way. Um, things did not balance out the way I wanted them to, to be. Um, but this will also be an experience of any drastic change in your financial conditions um, where you're feeling kind of sorrowful right now. But I do feel like that's why you're holding so tight to this money, um, right? And really manifesting on this situation. You do have the Empress and the King of Coins coming out, which is saying, well, look, everything's going to be okay. I do have the rebirth of the situation. The blessings are starting to come through. Um, you will start feeling those probably around next week, guys, right? Starting to feel the difference and the change. The energy is changing. The prosperity is changing. Um, really starting to balance out the situation. 
There is definitely still a cup, though, over here that you're still really wanting over here when it comes to monetary gains. And this could be some kind of secret, important financial matter that you just kind of have stuck inside your mind that you're really trying to get balanced out of. Maybe it's a debt, maybe it's credit card debt, something of the nature that you really want it to end. Um, and so that way you can really move forward and conclude this. Um, and, you know, and it could even be, hey, look, you know what? I've successfully saved as much as I can at this time, right? Right now, I'm just going to put it away, right? Because last month, maybe I spent too much. Um, and it could be something that has to do with, you know, wanting to build um, so you could get housework done or maybe you need to get the car fixed. You know, we've got this six swords over here. Maybe the car does need to be fixed. Maybe that's where it is here. I don't have enough money to fix the car um, to give kids money, however it is. But there has to be some kind of conclusion, right? So that way you don't feel stuck. Um, yeah, not wanting any more internal battles or any more fighting about money, um, whether it's with yourself or someone else. So definitely want this condition to kind of really kind of pan itself out and get itself balanced. Okay. We do see that and that's the way we definitely want it to be. You know, in the end, it could even be, you know what, I want my husband and I to come together, be the dream team that we are, that way we can make the money, save the money. You know, maybe somebody spent too much money. Oh, boy. Right. So, let's see what we got over here. We have the hangman on the two of wands. We definitely have wherever it was feeling like I was out in the cold within the situation. You do feel like it's time to come out of the cold. Um, it's time to not neglect what was being neglected. Um, maybe you guys were even neglecting each other, um, or maybe there was some kind of poor business deal that felt like it fell through, um, however it is. Um, but there's definitely going to be this push to want to let this go so that you can allow the rest to just kind of build up um, within the perfect timing of the moon over here. But there's going to be a lot of reflection on how it is going to work with the two of wands upside down because there is confusion. There might even be a little bit of drama or chaos surrounding the situation, but you feel like it's not really, you know, forging forward um, the way that you really want this month, but you do know it's becoming better. It's going to be what we call a work in progress, and that's really what it is, the work in progress to get the power back to where it needs to be. I do, like I, like I said, next week feels like the blessing and everything is coming back together. We do want to kind of watch for red signs, though, on certain situations of the balance, to make sure that your checks and balances are doing good, right? Making sure that you are putting what you need to put and build where you need to build on the right areas and making sure that you're, you know, making the in um, initiative kind of steps towards um, what it is you truly want within the rewards and the goals that you're looking for. So that way you can get this cup, guys. I want you guys to get this cup, right? Beginning of the month, you're like, I want this cup. Bring it to me. But it just feels like it's really stationed up there, kind of still in the, uh, the dream mode. Um, and you have the high priestess over here. So you do feel like around the 15th or the 16th that the high priestess over here is starting to become more, you know, your intuition is really opening to really get to the Ten of Pentacles. So you will feel like you are getting an increase in money. You are being able to build what it is you need to build. And you are getting the renewed, um, kind of a renewed understanding of how to continue to build and to kind of get to this cup. I'm sorry, it's in the middle over here. The Two of Pentacles really is the balance and the understanding. And the, this cup here is like, that's what I want. So... Whatever that is that you're building or going after, you're definitely going to feel like you're structuring yourself a lot better um, in the beginning of the month. So that way you can really then, around the 15th or 16th, take that leap of faith, right? Okay, come middle of the month, oh, I'm prepared. Now you feel more prepared. You kind of transform your bank account around, right? Your relationship with money is kind of coming back around, right over here, like towards next week, probably around the ninth or so, and you're going to feel like everything's kind of, you know, moving smoothly around that. And it's going to be a little bit of a groundbreaker. How could we not say groundbreaker? We have all this earth over here. I'm breaking ground. 
right? I'm in store for this professional endeavor. I'm in store to really get to this cup. So things are going to start to really start becoming illuminated, um, definitely illuminated with the moon and the high priestess towards the, um, the 15th. So you're definitely going to feel like you are stepping into some kind of different energy and understanding about the situation and really being able to say, hey, you know what, what is it that I really, really need? And really asking, and look at the intuition is just going to be sparking, boom, 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 boom. And that's where you're really going to be able to take that action with the bull over here and say, okay, I got it. So definitely bringing that into the spotlight for you. Um, and you definitely will feel like everything's pushing itself together. Okay. Even though right now it feels so far away. Um, will you have your four of cups by the 15th? Probably not. Okay. That's not what it says. What it says is I feel like I'm moving towards it. I'm pushing towards finally getting myself grounded and breaking ground, becoming intuitive enough to have a bigger understanding of how it is that I can increase and get what it is I need with the Ten of Pentacles, right? The overall achievements. And that's really what it is, that push. Okay? So good job, guys. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.